Hello again, and welcome to week 14 of the high school football season, otherwise known as the state semifinals. I'm Tim McDonough, along with my esteemed colleague, Chuck Martinez Brandon. And we are here in spacious Studio A on the sprawling compact complex that is the Crescent News. Thanksgiving, a few days away, bountiful feast. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. But before we uh, talk turkey, let's talk some football. Yeah, baby. We, we knew someone was going to be playing this week. We weren't sure if we'd have <laughs> two teams, but we do. Yeah. Patrick Henry in the state semifinals of D5, OG in four. Let's start with the Patriots, number one versus number two. Yeah. Hello, cold water. What That's you got, right. Chuck? Two uh, big-time teams here playing in the state semifinals, D5. You know, a lot of people like to talk about the MAC. Okay, cold water's beat two MAC teams two weeks in a row so far to stay alive in the playoffs. But I tell you what, if there's two programs – from our area, Northwest Ohio, that I think can stand up to the mat. It's this Patrick Henry team and the Liberty Center team from a few years ago that won it, I believe, in 97. Those two programs, they don't back down. They have their own mystique, their own aura, so I think it's going to be a good game. They're not, they're not worried about Mac. Mac who? We don't care. In Northwest Ohio, the Patriots are going to stand up and play tough. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. That's what they're going to be because <laughs> the Patriots are rolling right now, thanks in large part to their backfield tandem. you got Luke George back there, Justin Binger back there, running wild. A lot of people starting to key on Justin Binger, and George is start, just starting to tear people apart. He was leaping over to Nora Rams last week, diving for pylons, and just having his way with people, and that's really what he's doing. 1,000-yard rusher, 1,000-yard passer. Binger's got uh, almost 2,000 yards rushing, so the PH offense is really rolling. They're really starting to – make uh, defenses have to scheme for a lot of different stuff out of the backfield. They're sending George out wide, Binger out wide. They put him in the backfield together, all sorts of stuff. Coach I has all sorts of things up his sleeve for the Cavaliers. Meanwhile, defensively, Coach I's uh, assistant coaches are going to have their work cut out for him this week. The Cavaliers, one-man show, Keith Wenning. That's all you need to know right there. He's their leading rusher, 1,000 yards. Leading passer, 3,000 yards. He's their punter. He's their kicker. He does it all. So if you're if you're the Patriots, you stop one guy. If it's me, I'm probably going to do a little spying, just try to uh, at least have one guy on him all the time, and then go from there. You always have to try to stop something. That's definitely what I try to stop with Coldwater. And, you know, Coldwater's the program. This is like they're going to be their 49th playoff game. Wow. 49 playoff games mean you must be doing something right. So it's going to be a big game, but I'm telling you what, I think the Patriots can still pull it off. I like the Patriots. The thing I like about the Patriots is they don't, even though they got bigger in Georgia, they've got a lot of guys that do their job and do it well. More of a team concept, not like when they had uh, George's brother Zach and when they had uh, some Mark Krause guy. Mm, you know, when yeah. they had two superstars, this team is more of a team. They play well together. They love to play with each other. They are just uh, great teammates and great friends. Any truth with River Chuck that winning is going to be driving the bus to this game? I think he is going to drive the bus as well, and I also think he's setting up the post-game buffet. Oh, that's fantastic. Are, are you surprised that a state semifinal game is going to be played in Finley? It does sort of surprise me a little bit. You know, you think state semifinal game, you think, man, I'm going to get to go someplace that I don't usually get to go. The kids are going to get to go out of their realm a little bit and experience something great. Finley. PH has been there. I'm sure coldwater has been there a lot of times, too. You usually are thinking... You know, big college fields, you're thinking Akron, you're yeah. thinking Bowling Green, Toledo. So I think Finley, a lot of people probably said, hmm. But, you know, it's a good field. It's a, it's a good spot to watch some high school football. So so you like the Patriots? Give me the Patriots. What do you think? It's the Mac in cheese. Don't I, buy into yeah, it. It's, I, you know, you, you always get caught up in this thing. GMC versus the NWOL. NWOL versus the Mac. You know what? I, I think it's time for the Mac to be done. I'm picking the Patriots this week. Yeah. Go PH. All right. All right. Well, the Pets are not alone. We've got somebody else playing. Who else is playing this week? Ottawa Glandorf making its first ever state semifinal appearance. Knocked off Orville last week, 21-20. They are moving on to Fremont to take on the Chagrin Fall Tigers. Undefeated state semifinals. Good meatballs. Good potatoes, good meat, yep. good God, let's eat. Let's talk Titans. All right, they're going to have their hands full with the, the Tigers from Chagrin Falls. Chris Trinetti, 1,642 yards passing, 22 oh, TDs. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, Chris Gorman, running back, 1,200 yards, 10, 10 TDs. Got a couple of wideouts that aren't bad. Got about, oh, 800 yards and 15 TDs. And they got a kid by the name of Bobby Winkleman, 134 tackles and four sacks. He leads their team, but... 
you know, they're good. You know, everyone talks about playing football over that way and, and who they play and things like that. Come on, we're talking the WBL. The WBL is no slouch when it comes to state competition. OG's keeping it rolling here. Nathan Colley, 1,500 yards passing, almost 1,000 rushing. He's got 21 TB TDs combined. Co Brandon Kuhlman, 1,000 yards rushing, 8 TDs. Logan Kaufman, hurt his knee last year, 17 TDs. Jeff Seifert coming in, 161 tackles, 2 sacks. They got a kid in the backfield there in the defense. Brian Lamethal, 10 interceptions in, in 13 games. Are you kidding me? That kid is a ball hawk. I like OG in this game, Chuck. I like the way they're playing. You know, I, our friend Mike Vernant, our colleague, was at that game. I think his story said it all. OG is known predominantly as a basketball school. No more. They're going to the state semifinals. I like the Titans to go to the state finals. Who do you like in this one, Chuck? You know what? I think uh, beat Norville last week. I think as the Titans, hey, they've gotten rid of anything that might tell you know they're Mac for them. So I think the Titans are rolling. You might as well just chalk it up. They're going to be down around Maslin area, I think, next week. Give me the Titans. Wow. You think the uh, people over in Putnam County and Ottawa Way are kind of getting a little concerned that basketball isn't going to start? I know. What's that strange oblong brown <laughs> ball they're playing with over there in Ottawa? It's called a football chuck. Oh. And that's why we're here talking about it. Yeah. If anyone wins this week, and we predicted both of our teams to week to win this week and make it to the state finals, we'll be back next week for an unprecedented week 15 to talk football. As always, www.crescenthypenews.com. Check us out there. Any questions, emails, requests, send them to cnsports at crescenthypenews.com. As always, great food, fantastic. See you later. Nap time, baby.